Hey guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add drop shadows that are a bit fancier than the one that's already provided in the ClickFunnels editor. Why would you want this? Well, I don't know. It shouldn't take too long. There is a website that I like to use um, and this is called newmorphism.io and newmorphism is by a guy named Adam Giebel or Giebel. Sorry if I butchered your name. Um, if you like his stuff, you should go uh, click on this bottom right, buy me a coffee and then um, go support this guy. So you created this website where you can pre-create um, what the shadow is going to look like before you implement, which is, which is really nice for, you know, visual designers like, like myself. Um, you see here that this is where the lights are being cast from. So you could change that from left to right, uh, from the bottom, bottom right. Um, and then over here, you could change the size of, of the shape, but this is not going to really bother us for now. I don't think we're going to be touching that. It's going to change radius. Um, probably not going to be using radius, but it's good to know that it's there. Distance, that's the distance of the shadow from the specific div box. And then we have the intensity. So if we want a strong shadow, um, it gives us a strong shadow and it gives us a blur. So um, if we want a sharp shadow like this, shadows like this are popular in some apps. I've seen it around. Uh, it might become a new trend in 2020. Um, but what we're more used to is this blur with kind of like the distance like that, with the intensity. This is a page that we'll be implementing today in the editor. It's not going to take too long actually, because you're just creating the shadows in new morphism and then we're going to just be applying to div. I came to this design because I was putting together some courses on my website in Polar 8 and there were a few things that I wanted to do that I couldn't achieve uh, with the already existing ClickFunnels features. The first thing that I was noticing is not being able to attain a shadow that I kind of liked. So currently I have the design without the shadows to show you what it would look like without the shadows, of course. And basically it's a two div box design um, and it's not 50, 50, it's like 30, 70. Uh, and if I wanted to apply shadow, uh, well, I can show you what kind of shadows are available. I'll go to advanced and then I can go to drop shadow in the extra. And then I get this list from 5% to 40% drop shadow. I can also have an inner shadow, which kind of looks like that. Um, or 40% drop shadow and 10%, uh, 20%. Now, uh, shadows is not a big deal for most people. But using the shadows that's already provided inside of the editor is most of the time adequate because you're not trying to do anything crazy. You're just trying to get a, a website out and done, start selling, making money, and that makes total sense. What I'm first going to do is I'm going to go to New Morphism, the website that we're on. And because I'm using a white background, I'm going to pick a color up here and you should get a modal like this where you can choose a color white, which I'm going for white. And I'm going to set this up. So um, what I'm looking for when I'm creating these shadows is that because the light's coming from this side, you see that there's more shadow on the right hand side. Um, I don't want to put too much shadow. But if I put too little, you'll see that this corner top left is going to start losing the shadows. Um, so I'm trying to find a good balance of that in, in this modal here. So I got the shadow that I want and I'm going to take a look at this box down here. And you'll see that it says border radius 12 pixels, which is the thing that I chose here, which is for the corners around. Background, uh, background color is FFFFE. Uh, I actually don't know if it's F, 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 E or if I just want F, 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 which should make it white. It didn't change much, but all the F means uh, white, all zero would mean black. So if you have that in mind, you might, it might come easier or handy to you someday. Uh, and then the box shadow is the most important part, which is um, 18 pixels, 45 pixels, uh, shadow color. Okay. So what I want to do is just go copy this which gets copied to clipboard. I'm going to go back into my editor and click funnels and I'm going to go into settings, custom CSS. And when this pops up, I am just going to paste this in for now and I'm going to close it. So what I want to do now is I want to be applying the shadows just to this right div. 
And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go up here, where it says sections, rows, column elements. I'm going to find the columns area. I'm going to click on it. Um, and as you hover over these, some of the elements in the back are being selected. Um, I know that it's going to be this second column because I'm reading this. But if you read through it, it says Global Navigation Cupertino, which is a template that I, I'm using my personal one. And so I brought it in, so it's named. Section two would be this whole section. And first column is the left, right is normally the second column. If you have three or four columns, it should be first, second, and third, first, second, third, fourth. Um, so you just go by number. You can also change his names. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna click on my second column go down to the bottom and find this get CSS info. I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to bring this CSS info. I'm just going to change the title for a second to um, masterclass speakers. And you'll see that CSS ID selector section down here. You're just going to go uh, command C if you're using a Mac and then of course control C and you can close that, go into settings, click on custom CSS again, um, find the very start of this whole CSS that you pasted from before. And I'm just gonna hit enter to push that down, go up to the first row and I'm gonna paste that in and I'm gonna open curly brackets and go to the very end and then close curly brackets. And then you see that in here, the shadow is applied. And so if I go save and I go preview, um, you'll see that the shadow that I created from Neumorphism is being applied to my card. Very simple. And to just show you the difference, this is, to a lot of people, it, it's not a big deal. Like, the left one is a native shadow to ClickFunnels. Uh, the right is what I just implemented with CSS. To a lot of people, it doesn't really matter. I like the shadows be a little bit more subtle, but more prominent. So it feels like it's not much, but the whole thing is popped out a bit more. While this one feels like it's very close to the page, uh, but it works. So it depends on what you like um, and how you like to show off your pages. Here's another one that I just created with new morphism. I basically just did no blur, but this can be kind of fun uh, on some of the new pages, new technology pages. But yeah, I hope that was pretty easy for you. The next video that I'm going to do is I want to make this upcoming master's class, this div, stick while the right hand side scrolls up.